Mrs. Garmin's swim heart rate monitor. In this video, I'll show you what's involved in changing its battery. The battery is 2032 size, bottom cell battery like this. Let's get to it. This blue ring around the sensor comes up with a little screwdriver that you are going to be using. You can pry it up with it. It's already been done, obviously. And then you have these four screws to undo with a small screwdriver, jeweler's screwdriver, which is which has a tip like this. Don't know what size this is, but obviously this has also been undone. So those are the screws to work on. Four of them. And this screw, it has just a different mounting arrangement in the base than the other three there. Don't damage this red seal, this needs to be compressed carefully. So don't tear it obviously. And then this battery it comes out if you press on it here between these two retaining tabs. Something like this, it needs a little bit of it's a retaining tab so it's holding the battery in place. Doing its job there. So if you tilt the battery here between these two tabs, it kind of pivots up. So there it is, very straightforward. So 2032 is the battery size. Negative facing the electrode down, so positive side is typically with the letters. Let's check out quickly the voltage, how much residual voltage is in this battery when it's dead or flat let's see so that's zero there and then let's check the battery of course the battery needs to be held or touched a little bit 2.8 volts 2.85 whatever fresh batteries are at 3.3 let's take one out and check it I cut it up already so it's easy to take it out because otherwise it's a, a wrestling match with the packaging so 3.25 whatever so it's got uh, some ways to go I'm gonna tally up the hours I spent actually swimming with this dead battery and I'm gonna leave it in the description box below something like I swam 70 kilometers with it. I know it's not helping, but 77, whatever. But it's some reference. So the battery goes in in reverse order, which means you have to start here underneath those two tabs and press it in place towards the tabs. This rubber o ring needs to be placed carefully with a little bit of stretch to it it stretches minimally so that's how it looks like properly seated and then as I tighten these four screws down I'm gonna tighten them evenly meaning that I don't know halfway through in here halfway in there halfway in there halfway in there so it's it, it's compressing the seal even not just one corner and then whatever with the rest just evenly vertically down they are all the same length but they all have blue thread lock on them so i just started with that one this is not rocket science let's halfway in let's try left hand there we go halfway everything and just like so gently tighten it down fully down fully there and fully there and then this goes on I think it's symmetrical so yeah so it can go either which way but uh, this is how it came off and this is how it goes on just like so press in place there good to go for swimming